Welcome to Tweaks Tech Corner. I'm going to go over a simple little overclock I did to my Intel integrated graphics, uh, HD4600. It's 150 megahertz. It's not much, it's, but it you'll see a 10% improvement. So that's I can't ask for much more after out of 150 megahertz. The test bench is a little $500 computer I purchased recently. It's a gigabyte Z97 motherboard, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Obviously the G3258. I do have an air cooler on it and I'm running Windows 10. The program I used was Intel Extreme Tuning Utility to overclock the graphics. I'll check in the BIOS here shortly, get a video for you guys out on how to do it. But again, its core clock is 1150. I boosted to 1300. In WoW, I showed a marginal gain of uh, 3 to 4 frames per second, but that can be adjusted with other in game settings. I just used the FAIR preset. So if you change anti-alias and things, I'm sure that 10% might be a little better or a little more later on. But that's easy peasy 10%. Uh, Unigen Valley Basic scores, again, showed 10% improvement. I mean, they're super low frame rates, so it's terrible to actually watch it do this, but one frame at of 10 is 10%. Uh, CloudGate scores, again, 10% improvement. Scores aren't amazing it's integrated graphics but if you're playing games on integrated graphics such as dota or league of legends or wow it 10 percent can mean a lot uh, as far as uh, my temperatures go temperatures were pretty much exactly the same maybe a degree different the only difference was the second core got a degree hotter than the first core opposite from what normally happens but it's only a degree so nothing to worry about there basically if you're running a Haswell processor and you want to squeeze a little more performance out of it while you're saving up to get your next big graphics card or maybe you're not maybe that's all you got so 10% do it get yourself a couple frames make it a little more playable for yourself don't worry about it I will post a video shortly showing how to increase your graphics either using the Intel Extreme Utility or the BIOS on your motherboard if it supports it but if you don't have a motherboard the Intel Extreme Utility will allow you to do this for when you're playing games and you can set it back to normal when you're not playing games so like the video if you liked it disliked it if you didn't and uh, leave comments and suggestions on how to make this better for you to watch it I'm working on cameras and other items, so thanks for watching.